Hi, I'm Katrin. Welcome to my channel. My passion is storytelling and that is what you find on my channel. I do the overall story of Margit Sandemo's book serie, The Legend of the Ice People. It's a fantastic family saga which extends over several centuries. That is what I'm going to look into in my video today. Every book in this story stands on its own. You can come into this story any time. So far we have followed Sol's journey from the Lindali to Copenhagen in Denmark. Many things happened during her stay there. She found a missing child. She went on a secret meeting which turned out to be a disappointment for her. But she took the chance to practice some witchcraft on them. She starts working, and then just before she was about to go back to Norway, she was accused of being a witch. So now she is on the run. Her landlord's count and Countess Strathelheim helped her escape by sending her with the king's men to Skåne. From there she will take the boat to Norway. But Sol is not in a hurry. She plans to visit the hills of Brösarp, the place Hanna had told her about. The first night in Skåne they made camp. When they were asleep they got attacked and Sol kidnapped. Jakob Skille came to her rescue. But Jürgen, he was injured and they need to find help for him. They turned south again and found her little village. A farmer and his family promised to take care of him while Skille went to the house of Glimminge and Sol to the hills of Brösarp. It was still night and when the rain starts to pour down they made a stop at the boathouse by the shore. During the night under the davet things start to happen. Skille mixed his dream up with a present. Sol was awake and let things happen. The next day they continued their journey. Skille took the road to the house of Glimminge and Sol the road to the hills of Brösarp. They agreed to meet here in a few days. Sol found the place she was looking for but the witches were gone. It was about sixty years since they changed place for their meetings. Sol got the direction from the old couple and is now out looking for the place. She is also looking for the herb, Black Nightshade, that she needs for her trip to Blåkulla. On the way to Tollarp she heard voices in the forest. She found a group of soldiers catching a young woman. When Sol heard her cry, she came to her rescue. Meta, the young woman, explains the way to Anska's gorge to her. And before Sol continued the journey on her own, she made sure that Meta was thoroughly cleaned. She was now free from both lies and fleas. Meta warned her of the abyss and who lives there. Sol found both Anska's gorge and the abyss exciting. And there she met people like herself. Back home in Norway, Liv has married Lawrence Berenius. Liv realized almost immediately that this marriage will not be a happy one. Every day it gets worse and worse. Today I will pick up exactly where we left Sol. The old witch Sol just met said, We are so few left. And it's not strange, as the church and the government proceeded. When they can't find us, they take anything. They take ordinary kind women who have nothing to do with witchcraft. They can be caught just because a neighbor said something about them. I sometimes cry in my heart over their misfortune. We who have truly received the unwanted gift. <laughs> that we love so much, we must be ten times more careful. Fifty years ago, we were quite many in Denmark. Now only a handful remains. You can see the most of them here. 
and it was not much, she thought. The two women will hardly survive winter, and the man does not seem healthy either, and would not live long. And what was left then, a world of emptiness? I am probably alone in Norway, said Sol, apart from my uncle, but he is an apostate. He does not want to use his power other than for medical care. The old witch looked at her with wise eyes. No, you are not alone, child. You have been joined by more people. Sol flew up. Where? Who? Are there more? The old man nodded. The forest Finns have come from the east into Sweden to the forests of Ungemaland and Dalarna and Värmland. From there they have slowly moved west and inside the deep forest of Solör in Norway. You can find them there. They have acquired land on which they have begun to build. Among them are men and women who know a lot about witchcraft. Soul's eyes shone. I must go there sometime. Believe me, my life has been incredibly lonely, even though I have been surrounded by a caring family that I love. The man nodded. We feel your loneliness. It is our own. She looked at his wrist. So you have been in the soldier's claws? Yes, I have been in prison for a long time in the dungeons. Be careful not to get caught. Sometimes they forget the prisoners. I have seen women brought to the fire in such rottening clothes that they fell off their bodies. But how did you get out? He smiled so she could see his long horse teeth. <laughs> Through magic. I got the prison guard's will undermined. <laughs> Nicely, said Sol, excited and admiring. But it took time. Afterwards, once I was out, I was so exhausted of the weeks of willpower. I slept for several days. I will never let myself be caught again. I understand that. Oh, I'm so happy here with you. I want to stay with you for a long time. No, said the younger and sicker witch. She spoke Danish, while the others were apparently from Skåne. No, my main quality is interpreting people's destinies. You need to go home immediately. Someone needs you. Me? Who? I do not know. I only know that someone you care about suffers severely, and only you can help. Sol became serious. How can I help? Be prepared to do difficult things. I know you do not usually hesitate when you need to act. <laughs> you know a lot to you, said Sol, slowly and waved away a moth trying to commit suicide in the inviting fire pit. Yes, I know a lot about you. I took your hand a while ago. Remember that? Then I saw many things that would have made the soldiers open their eyes in surprise and the executioner to grab the match for the bonfire. You are a strange being, and you are one of us. Go home, soul. We would like to have you here, you have given us a new life. But your place is home now. Sol nodded eagerly. Yes. If anyone needs help, I will of course travel home as soon as I can. The old witch said suddenly, You say you love your family. <laughs> I have a hard time believing that. Why? Do you not know why you are called the Ice People? Yes, well, it's because our valley was so hidden that you must go through an ice tunnel to get there. Wrong answer. You are named so because you were born with ice in your heart. You can never love anyone. Men can have your body, but never your love. 
because you have no love to give not you who is a real witch from the ice people but that's wrong soul thought desperately or was it like yes love no what about tangle then if he did not love Celia, there was no such thing as love on earth. But Tingle was not of the real kind. Tingle was a mix, a bastard. He was a mixture of the best in humanity and the evil feelings from his legacy of the ice people. While Sol herself, what was she really? And what did the words love mean to her? With a sad look, she leaned back into the darkness against the slope of the ravine. She glimpsed faintly to the forest that stood guard around them, and it was as if a cold gust of wind blew through her all the way into her soul. The others sat quietly, watching her expectantly. But she did not want to think about this now, and she did not want to talk about it either. She changed the subject. Can any one of you help me find the black nightshade? They smiled at her and understood very well what she was going to do with it. The old woman said, We will show you the place. It's over by the river you crossed. It is growing there, but... Until then, you can get this from me. The berries are dried, of course, but the power is in them. Sol thanked. Now they wanted to know what she could do and were quite impressed with her ability. They also showed what they could do and they learned from each other. The evening went fast. The joy that Sol felt spread to them. Sol, who was an expert in healing herbs, gave the sick witch some of her herbs, but she doubted it would help. Her illness has gone too far. The weathered vessel cannot be resembled. However, the woman was incredibly grateful. Sol's mandrake attracted them tremendously. She saw in their eyes that they could have sold their souls just to buy it. But a mandrake is never bought in the usual way for the highest bit. You can only buy it by paying less for it every time it's sold. Eventually, it has become so low in price that the owner cannot sell it and his soul goes to Satan. Everyone have heard the legend of the mandrake, which cost only a grain of sand picked up from the road. There is nothing worth less than that. That owner could not sell it again and went straight to hell. What Saul's mandrake was worth, no one knew. However, they knew she would never sell it. The young witch coughed and she said happily. She was so happy for the gift she received from Saul. Now, Sol, you will be a part of something that I think is completely unknown to you. Have you seen the pot where we have over the fire? Yes, is it dinner? No, they laughed. It's a potion, said the man. We usually cook it to entertain ourselves here. We keep the herbs that we use a secret. Now we put the pot down between us and put a blanket over us. Now you will experience something you have never experienced before. What I will experience now, is it special? Sol wondered. Yes, said the sick witch, something incredibly special. Is it like the trip to Blåkulla? No, not at all. You should make the trip to Blåkulla when you are alone. You also need plenty of time when you go there. This is a potion that brings forgotten knowledge to life. Knowledge that lies deep within every human being. But which we have forgotten. Sol nodded. Silence fell over the forest. 
The fire was slowly extinguished, but the night was still warm. The four sat under the blanket while the steam from the potion entered their minds. Sole felt it spinning in her head. Pictures swirled in her head. The vision flickered past, short and diffuse. She did not have time to see what she saw. Maybe it's because she was so happy to be with people who understood her without words that she could not gather her thoughts of anything else. The man removed the blanket and the pot moved away. Sol understood that they had all reached the stage of trance they needed. She relaxed and leaned against the steep grassy slope behind her. The old witch did the same. The younger one fell backwards on the ground, and the man collapsed where he sat. He curled up as if he wanted to exclude the world. The soul was so dizzy that, she, that the ravine capsized and spun around for her. She closed her eyes. The vision stabilized and became clearer. The moon shone. In another time, she was on her knees. Tearing a woman's clothes. The woman was lying on the ground. It was cold and she must be exceedingly small. Because her hands seemed so small towards the woman. In her sight she lifted her head and saw a young girl. Come, your mother is dead. The girl must be Celia. She looked so young, almost like a child. The sight disappeared and another came instead. Sol was sitting on someone's lap. It was the woman she had just seen dead who held her, her mother, Sunniva. She was so beautiful, she had dark eyes. There was a man there too, who must be her father, but she did not see him as clearly. I think that we stop here for today. We leave Sol while she is in trance. I think this is the best moment for her. This is the best time in her life. She has found people like herself. She has learned new things from them. She found out about her new purpose. Someone at home needs her help. But what about the trip to Blåkulla? Will she have time for that now? Next on my channel, I will look into the next episode of Fear the Walking Dead in Dreams. In the last episode, we found out more about the end is the beginning, people. After that, I will continue with Margit Sandemo's book series, The Legend of the Ice People, the book's stepdaughter, The Abyss. I will then pick up exactly where I left Sol in trance. Some of my videos are published for a long time, others are removed quite quickly. If you don't want to miss anything or if you just want to support my channel, subscribe and click on the notification bell. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Stay safe out there and welcome back.